Ready for an unforgettable camping trip? said one of the friends. A group of friends went camping in a forest to see its beautiful nature. What starts as a fun camping trip soon becomes a nightmare for this group of friends. Whether this scary experience still haunts them to this day, you will find out in the story. The group of friends arrive at the Forest of Phantoms. Before they entered the forest, they were warned by the forester. He told them that people are lost due to unexplained events taking place in this forest, and that the police had not yet solved the case. Nevertheless, they ignored the warning and continued their adventure, determined to have a nice camping trip, they thought. As the group hikes deeper into the forest, they begin to hear ominous sounds, like creaking trees and mysterious whispers, not knowing where it was coming from. They ignored the sounds because they were not afraid. One of the friends notices a mysterious Ouija board hidden somewhere among the bushes. Not knowing about the consequences, out of curiosity they decide to use the board and start playing the game. One of them laughingly asks the Ouija board where the lost people were. The mood quickly turns when the Ouija board starts moving. A supernatural force takes control of the planchette and starts passing messages. The group realizes that they have summoned something evil. Panic spreads very quickly. They want to get away from the board as soon as possible so they start running. Due to the rising fog, they noticed very quickly that they had lost their way. But still they kept walking, walking, and walking. As night falls, they noticed phantoms emerging from the fog and had been following them for a while after playing the game. They flee in panic, but find that they keep coming back to the same place, as if the forest is holding them captive. Every time they think they escape, a new winding path leads them back to the place where they played the game. Eventually, the group reaches an abandoned hut deep in the forest. They hope to take shelter from the phantoms there, but the hut looks old and abandoned. As they hide, they find something gruesome. They were stored bones of the previously missing people in the forest of phantoms staring at them. It is the hateful phantoms of these missing persons that haunts the group of friends, determined to create new victims. The friends realize that their only chance of survival is to work together. They looked around this hut and found a book. Its pages were filled with gruesome tales of the phantoms that inhabited the forest and the horrors they had caused. Their only hope lay in an ancient spell that could free them from the grip of evil. With trembling hands, they begin to utter the words. As the dark phantoms draw ever closer, they complete the spell at the very last moment, and the phantoms disappear with a deafening and terrifying scream. Exhausted and traumatized, the friends escape from the forest of phantoms, realizing that they have narrowly escaped death. Although they are now safe, the horrific experiences they have endured will never leave them. As the group slowly returns to civilization, the echoes of their ghostly encounters haunt them mercilessly. The friends try to live a normal life to this day, but at night, when they lie in bed, they are plagued by nightmares and whispering voices, memories of the darkness of the forest of phantoms. They hope these fears will eventually fade away, but deep down they know that some experiences will always linger in their minds. And so ends our story of the forest of phantoms, a warning to those who are curious and ignore warnings. Would you have listened to the warnings or would you also have entered the forest of phantoms? Let us know in the comments, but make sure the phantoms don't see your responses.